Okay, sir. Live on this Tuesday night up in this bitch, yes sir. Alright. Let's do it, baby. What's up? What's up, YouTubes? What's up, Twitch? What's up, all my peoples? How y'all doing? How's everybody doing on this Tuesday? Everybody doing good? That's excellent to hear. Very good. My name is Greg. I'm gonna be your internet pilot tonight. Welcome to the All About Aviation channel. Welcome to the best damn airplane show you want to see tonight. Episode, whatever you want to call this episode, that's what this episode is going to be called. Yeah. What's up? Hey, Greece is in the house. Greece representing Greece tonight. All right, we're going to fly a brand new aeroplane tonight. I'm a little nervous. A little nervous. There's a new update that just came out. I'm not, you know what? I shouldn't call it an update. There was a patch that came out. We're going to see if it updates anything. But let me show you that. So I don't remember the name of the people that made this plane, but I know Greece is going to want to know. So let me, let me see if I can figure this out. Give me a second here. I don't think it's still on my wish list. Uh, Constellation, Douglas. Sweet man. Red Dead's the shit. I like Red Dead. It's on sale right now on uh on the Xbox. On the Xbox. Alright, let me type in um DHC. Oh, why the fuck am I typing on my laptop? I'm such an idiot. Uh DHC. I, I forget who makes this plane. Give me a second here. Alright, yeah. Oh yeah, it's Microsoft and ORBX. So I bought this plane the other day because I had I had ten dollars and it was like ten dollars and fifty cents. This plane's got a lot of shit. Yes, yes they did actually. Yes they did. Yeah, yeah, it's it's from Dune, the movie Dune. They just uh, it's right here. They just came out with it. Right here, Dune expansion. Oh, it's free. Ooh, I should download that. Let me download that now. Ten gigabytes, motherfucker. We might have to wait for that. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna. You know, I'm not downloading that now. We will download it later. Yeah, that's a uh, um, that's the shit from Dune. That movie's awesome. I'm not a big fan of the the recreation of the movie, but the original movie from the '80s was awesome. They were all about that spice man. They were fucking alien uh, space drug addicts over there. They, everybody was fighting over that spice and who could sniff the spice. It was all about spice, man. I tried spice once, man. That shit was giving me a heart attack. I bought a little bag from the grocery from the um, from the uh, uh, gas station, man. Shit, is it spice is that fake weed? It's like where they just take like oregano and spray it with some chemicals and shit like that, man. It was, it was wild. Let me tell you. So, all right, let me look up this. Uh, let me show you this plane. So we gonna fly, uh, we gonna fly in the Middle East with this plane. Uh, cause I got this army livery that came with it. But it's a pretty cool plane. There's a lot of shit in this plane. There's a lot of buttons to push. No autopilot. No autopilot at all. But I thought this was pretty interesting that the Caribou is the, the the third in the lineup of these planes. You have the Beaver, then the Otter, and then the Caribou. Sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna. I, I I just turned on the simulator. This is to be honest. This is the first time I've turned on this simulator since the last time I streamed. Uh, so uh, I had no idea that it came out. I'm gonna download it later tonight uh, or tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, man. So this so this thing is pretty cool. So let me. Uh, so no autopilot, but we gonna fly it. I got a little little flight plan picked out from uh, my ran to Iraq, about a hundred and maybe a couple hundred miles at the most. So let me type in this here. Uh, actually, let me go to my settings real quick. And yeah, I've been playing a fair amount of the train simulator. I forgot how how difficult some of those some of those trains are pretty pretty fucking difficult man all right on on instant okay that's good uh traffic data on 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 okay all right we're good let's uh go here let's type in o-i-c-c o-i-c-c surprised I'm still awake man I only got like two hours of sleep last night <laughs> I 
<laughs> there you go, Frank. I won't ban you, don't worry. Well, I, actually, I might. But you haven't said anything yet to get banned. That's funny, man. See what see what happens, Frank, when I'm not when I'm not streaming. Oh, I might not be able to do this one. There's no uh, place to park my airplane. Oh, yes, there is. Yes, there is. See what happens, Frank, when you don't when when I'm not streaming, you get in trouble. That's no fun. You don't want to get in trouble. All right. Let's see here. What's the? Oh, that's from downloading and then purchase. Okay. All right, uh, live weather. Let's make it in the morning time and let's go ahead and check out this airplane, man. That's funny, man. You got banned. <laughs> yeah. Frank, Frank, you probably were high as shit. You probably don't remember what got you banned. Uh, I'm probably going to be getting a phone call here at some point tonight just to let you know. I I have a cousin who's actually my godfather uh, in surgery right now. He's All his arteries are blocked, so they have his chest cracked open right now. So I'm going to get a phone call here in a little bit to give me an update, so I'm going to have to mute myself when I get that phone call. But until then, I'm all yours. Uh, I clicked on random stream. It's all Frank on chat. And I was like, no way. And they're Frank. Man, that's, that's funny. Good job, Frank. Way to go. Way to represent way to way to represent the team. Alright, so Yeah man, this plane is pretty dope. It's real old school looking plane. There's so many there's so many gauges and switches and shit. No autopilot though. And back here, I only I only played with this plane for about ten minutes when I got it. I haven't done anything as far as flying it yet. So we got looks like cabin cabin air controls back here, circuit breaker panel. Oh yeah, this I know operates the door right here. This operates the cargo door in the back. You can open this door up and then that cargo door drops out. And then we, we got here. Nothing back there. What do we got here? Oh yeah, carb heater. Flaps, uh, magneto, rudder trim, landing lights, prop levers, throttle, mixture. Very cool, man. I guess DH stands for de Havilland. Here's our radio situation down here. Our ADFs and our VHFs and UHFs and all that shit. All right, let's go ahead and let's get Giga Chad rolling with the with the cock pit. Dude, it looked like she was doing an exorcist for a second. It looked like her head was like all the way turned around. That's pretty scary. All right, uh, yeah, I need to use a checklist right now because I, I really don't know anything about this plane. I Started it up one time, but uh, and kind of looked around it. But all right, let's do this. Parking brake set. Carburetor heat. Cold in. <laughs> Magneto. You bugging? You bugging? Grease. Oh yeah, let's turn the magnetos on. Cut off. Prop RPM levers. Let's move them all the way. Max RPM. Throttle. One centimeter. Landing gear. Down. I think it's really cool. It's got like this huge window up top here. Oh yeah, what's this up here? Uh, it looks like it's a uh, temperature, maybe. That's uh, pretty cool. All right, let's go start up the engines. Propeller area. 
Yeah, I think we're clear. We're clear. Battery switch. On. Master start switch. On. DC generators. On. Navigation lights. On. And beacon lights on. On. Fuel boots right. Okay, let's do this because this I got I kinda screwed up a little bit before. Normal. Start switch. Alright, to the right. Right. Prime switch. Right. Mixture. I might have to do that over again. I didn't get to the mixture in time. Uh, where's the switches at? Right here. All right, well, we'll do it over again. What the fuck? Oh, you know what? It had me push the wrong the wrong lever in. Throttle engine two. Fuck off, Giga Chad. You're making me look bad. You told me to push the wrong one in. All right, there we go. Set for 800 RPM. Oil pressure. All right, there we go. Prime switch. Wow, that's crazy, man. A hundred new airplanes? Jesus Christ, that's awesome. That's going to be a lot of fun when 24 comes out. Normal. Start switch. Left. Prime switch. Left. Mixture. Rich. Throttle engine one. Set for 800 RPM. Sweet. I didn't have to move the gust lock this time. Check. Prime switch. That's awesome. New airliners, too. Yeah, I'm looking forward to 24, that's for sure. Fuel boost left. Off. All right. Flaps. Up. Yep. All right, what's next? Before taxi, radios, gust left. All right, let's uh open the back the back door up. This thing is pretty cool. So we have All right, exit lights. No smoking, fasten seat belts. All right, we can do white or green lights. How come you're not gonna, you can't you won't let me drag you down come on man I want to drag you down oh it's okay wait a minute yeah why can't I do green oh well fuck it all right so we got that we'll turn them off for now let's see here cargo door ramp cargo all right so door master on let's open up and the cargo door. And ramp fifteen percent limit override. All right, fuck that. Sweet man, we can load up the troops. We're flying them to Baghdad. God damn, Grease. Give me a second. Let me read all this shit. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. Imagine the PNG part of Microsoft and we give a deep audition. That will be super dope if the 737 Max from PMDG would be the default plane. That would be super awesome. All right, let's close up our doors so we can get ready to take off. Let's contact the uh, ATC and see which where we can take off from. Hermancha ground, Wyo Mike Alpha Mike Mike Alpha, with golf request taxi for takeoff departing straight out. Wyo Mike Alpha Mike Alpha, 
Actually, it doesn't sound like we have a uh, Giga Chad tonight. It sounds like we have the Karen with us. All right, here we go. Let's close the back up. Hey, man. Uh, I hope he is right. You know, I've been disappointed before, but maybe, maybe they're turning a corner. I think that would be awesome if they do it. That would be super awesome. All right, let me type in... Well, actually, I can't type in anything yet. Let me wait for this door to close up. All right. Yes, sir. Let's close up these switch covers. Let's turn off that. We'll leave that open for now. Oh, yeah, here was the other panel here. Fiber optics... All right, carb air, landing lights. All right, so taxi lights. Inoperative. Oh, right, there we go. Okay. And pitch throttle. Okay, let's set our VHF for. Okay, right now we are at 114.6. So let's set that. 114. Now that's a little interesting. I can't get to that that other dial unless I use. I'm sorry. I can use the. Uh, what's what's it called? What am I? What am I? I don't even know what I'm talking about tonight. The uh, the mouse that I have. All right, so it looks like we're going to be flying on a course from... Let me type this in so I know what direction we're going. Uh, KMS. It looks like we're going on south, a southwest course, but let me double check. All right, that's KMS. KMS. Done. And we're going to be flying on a course of 213. So let's come up here to our OBS. So, oh yeah, that's that's another thing I wanted to look. So this thing does have a really basic Garmin system, right? But like, oh, it looks like we can program a flight plan. Look at that. I'm not going to program it, but uh, that is very interesting. Yeah, we're, we're just going to fly old school tonight. But uh, I didn't really play with this system last time I was in the plane. That's interesting that it has that. All right, audio. All right, all that's good. All right, let me plug in 136. I'm sorry, 213. And we're doing all right, ILS, and we're doing nav instead of GPS. And switch mode. OK, it's free. VOR at nav mode. All right, very good. All right, let's come here and type in 213. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. Yep, they do got to step up the vanilla experience, that's for sure. Oops. All right, before taxi checklist, let's knock this out real quick. Yep. Gust lock. Unlocked. Flight controls. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Let's put the yoke back so we can see. Okay. Forward, back, and side to side, and foot pedals. All right, let's see here. Taxi. 
break test. All right, autocomplete page. All right, very good. Run up. All right, let's go to. All right, let's release the parking brake. Yeah, man, you can put a whole bunch of zombies in the back of this plane. Watch out, buddy. I'm going to Indiana Jones you. That was a great scene in the first Indiana Jones where that really big guy was fighting Indy on the back of that airplane, and Indy hit him right into the uh, propeller. All that blood sprayed everywhere. It was awesome. We're gonna have Karen complete this uh, this page here. Oh yeah, I gotta. Well, I guess I don't need to turn on the gauge lights right now. I can do that when we're in the air. It's gonna be interesting not having any autopilot. I haven't done that in a while. Kind of getting the trim set perfectly so you can kind of let go of the yoke. And yeah, this plane can go up to like twenty thousand. Uh, Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, I've never seen zombies flying planes before, but, you know, they might do okay. You never know. Yeah, this thing can go up to 20,000 feet in the air, or 20,400 or something like that. Let's put on our. All right, so forward is is lights, okay. And while we're down here, let's go ahead and put on. Oh, everything's at 100% already. Hang on, I'm getting a text message. All done. Everything went well. He is in recovery. Thank God. Thank. The Lord. I might be getting a phone call here, but right now everything looks good. Awesome. That's a big surgery, man, when uh, they crack your chest open. Shit. All right. Um, all right. Release the parking brake. All right. Let's go ahead and. Oh, my godfather, my cousin. Well, he's my godfather, but he's my cousin. Yeah, he went for a checkup last week, and they did a test on him. And it turns out every single one of his arteries was, like, clogged up. So they he's been in the hospital since Thursday of last week, and they just did a, I don't know, a quintuple bypass. I mean, it was a long, it was a big procedure. But yeah, everything, thankfully, seems like it's okay now, so... All right, let's set the parking brake. We'll have Karen autocomplete this. And then we'll take off. Set. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. All right, very good. All right, before takeoff, Gus Lock. Close enough. Flight instruments. Yep. Set. Flaps. Flaps sound really cool. Set for take off. Fuel boost left. All right, normal. Normal. Fuel boost right. Normal. normal. Fuel quantity. That's okay. We can check, check that later on. Hey, Pito's back. On check working. Take off briefing 
So Joe Biden switch. Complete. All right, normal takeoff. Brakes release, max power, okay. Positive, flaps up. Mito power set, what the fuck? Climb power, what is Mito power? Ah, uh, this power here, okay. Interesting, I didn't realize we were gonna have to do that. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go take off. Let's release the parking brake. Fuck, man. <laughs> I hate when they do that. When it, like, just throws the, uh... That's the one bad thing about doing... Doing the, the co-pilot deal. It's like... It, like, puts your camera down all the way there. All right, gear up. Wow. All right, we need to turn towards... Towards 213. Close enough for now. Positive vertical speed. Brake slash landing gear up. Flaps up. Mito power. Okay. Hang on a second. We're getting ready to crash. Hang on a second. Let me pause this for a second. All right, Mito power, manifold pressure, 42 inches. That's about where we're at. And 2250 RPM. Okay, so the RPMs have to come down. All right, very good. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and release the pause. Boy, there is no like wiggle room with this with this propeller, man. It's either all or nothing. That's close enough. This is going to be a little bit of a... Uh, I'm not sure what angle to hit those propellers at. Alright, 35 pressure. And we need to be at 35. Wow. All right, where's, you know what? Let me um, pause this for a second. I want to take the 
I want to take this kind of checklist off because I don't like it. I don't like it in this plane. The autocomplete checklist, I don't like it at all. Uh, assisted checklist off. Hang on, let me send a text message back about my uh, about my cousin. Give me one second. Yeah, man, it was crashed. It's fucked up. Excellent news, comma. I think we all can sleep a little easier. That's done. All right, so that's done. Let's go back to the plane. All right, so climb power is good. We're almost on the right course. We need to increase our V speed. That's one thing we need to do. trying to adjust the trim so I can kind of take my hand off the throttle like this. See? And we're still climbing. Alright, auto fetter. Alright, tick item. Where is the auto feather at? Oh, I don't see the auto feather. Give me a second. Let me pause this airplane again. Maybe it doesn't show it, unless you're actually flying, of course. Man, I do not know where the auto feather is. Give me a second. Let me pause it one more time and look around. I also need to change the frequency too. Let me change the frequency real quick. 112.6. Oh, six is okay. All right, 112.6. That's good. All right, let me see if I see auto feather anywhere around here. All right, troop jump. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oxygen supply. That's not not it. That's rudder pedals. Low oil, horn test, landing gear, wipers, de-icing, normal boost. Oxygen. Vent door oil. Altitude stall. I mean, usually it's up where the, the throttles and the engines are, but I didn't see it anywhere. Okay, auto lean, auto rich. 
aileron. Oh yeah, that's gotta. That, I gotta turn that down too. It is Iran. We're flying to Iraq. Yep. Um, what the hell is it? Oh yeah, turn the volume down. I had it up when I was working on this. All right, let's put this on ten like I normally have it. All right, I'm not gonna worry about the uh, auto feather. Let's just go. I'll find it later. All right, so we're a little far away to pick up that VOR station, but we'll get there. All right, we're green there. 35 there, that's good. I think it'd be easier. It is a complicated plane, yeah. I think it would be easier to fly this with a keyboard actually, because like the plane really wants to like sag to the to the left, and I think if I could fix the you know, the rudder a little bit or you know I don't know. I don't think it's the prop the prop levers, but yeah, it's a pretty difficult. Play. I mean, it'll probably get easier as I play it more, but right now it's pretty difficult. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird. It just really wants to sag to the to the one side. Okay, so it shows that, but it won't go to the auto feather. Okay, so auto feather somewhere around there. Hang on a second. Why can't I not move? There we go. Oh, here's auto feather. Okay, feather. Auto feather. Oh, it's a motherfucker, it's an operative anyway. The oh, fuck, man? Fuck this checklist. Fuck you, checklist. Motherfucker's inoperable. <sighs> Sorry, bunch of bitches. That's funny, man. Spent all that time looking for the switch. The damn switch doesn't even work. It's inoperable. I think I'll grow to like this plane once I get used to once I get used to flying it. It definitely handles different than a lot of the propeller planes that I've used.
Alright, I'm not sure why we haven't picked up that VOR station yet. 112.6. Yeah, 112.6. Maybe we just haven't made it that far yet. I mean, we're not even going, we're not going that fast. Now, let's just keep on heading in that general direction. You know, I was reading that this thing will climb at like 175 miles an hour or 175 knots and at like 1,200 vertical feet per minute, but I don't see it following the, uh, I mean, maybe if you don't follow the checklist, maybe if you just max out the, arm, you know, the propellers and you max out the propellers. I just said the same thing twice. Maybe if you max out the propellers and max out the throttle, maybe it will. I certainly don't see it. I can kind of see why this plane's 10 bucks, man. I'm ready to play the train simulator. Okay, it's limping to the side again. might have a manual, I don't know. I haven't really looked yet. I didn't think it was like that difficult to need a manual, but maybe it is. Yeah, I mean, usually following the checklist, usually the plane does pretty good. That's all right. I mean, we're, we're doing okay now. You know, I mean, we're somewhat level. I can still take my hands off the you know, off the yoke, we're doing okay. I just gotta keep an eye on things. Oh, you have the manual. Very cool. Yeah, maybe I'll download it later. All right, I gotta imagine we're gonna pick up this VOR station at some point. Let me plug, I guess I'll maybe let, let me plug in the old one just to Oh, here we go. We just picked it up. Very good. All right. Okay. I'll check it out later on Microsoft's website. Okay. That's some really good news about the, the Flight Simulator 24, man. That's awesome. Over a hundred planes, man. That is really cool.
yeah, I'll have to uh, keep an eye on their website and the forums and things like that for the, the list to come out. I think that'd be awesome. We'll keep an eye on the newswire. This plane uh, is kind of difficult to hit, to uh, control with a thumbstick, at least. I can kind of see why this plane was like ten dollars and not like thirty or forty. Yeah, how are we so far off course and we've been going kind of that direction the whole time? Yeah, that's what I use too. That's what I use too. Yep, Xbox controller and a mouse. Actually, it's doing a little better now. I got the trim adjusted a little bit more. It seems like it's doing a little better now. All right, there we go. Target. No target. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, when I'm playing in my room on the big screen, I don't use a mouse either. It's only when I'm making these kind of videos, I use a mouse. Yeah, when I'm laying in bed, it's a little difficult to use a mouse when I'm like, when I'm in bed. But I like using a mouse when I'm down here making these videos. So we got to make our way over those mountains. I missed to the end of those mountains to get to like the midway point. I think we may just land at that airport. I'm kind of ready to do another flight instead of this one or, or the train simulator. This, this plane's okay. It's not kind of not what I expected. I expect it to go quite, quite a bit faster from what, from what it was saying. 
you know, I don't want, I got the propellers maxed out. I'm sorry, I got the throttle maxed out. Our vertical speed's not really an issue, and I got the propellers just out of range of, uh, of the, the red zone. So I'm not really sure why we're only going 100, you know, 118 knots. I was expecting to be closer to 200 right now. Yeah, flaps are up. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I believe it. This would probably be a fun plane to try to land at uh, Mount Everest, the uh, Lukla Airport. Yeah, I could do that. I'd do that tomorrow night. I will do an A310 flight in Greece tomorrow night. I'll even use a third party livery. We'll try to find an appropriate livery for Greece. Now, I would like to try to complete a flight with this plane tonight. And and now that my cousin's out of surgery, I do want to call call over there and see what's going on too, so I don't know how long I'm going to be on tonight, but tomorrow I will do an A310 in Greece. Sure. I think we got to make our way over those mountains to get to the airport. I'm kind of scared to go like two times speed right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, you did, Frank. You, yeah, you, I think you asked for a flight between America and Russia. And uh, I don't know how to do that flight and keep it like under four hours. I'm trying. I'm trying to find uh, un unless I use the Dark Star. Okay. Yeah, we can work that out. Yeah, Frank. I think I can do that. That flight. Okay, we will do it. Uh, we will do it this week for sure. That dark star is pretty, pretty intense to fly, man. Especially when you get up to like Mach ten. It's crazy. All right, let me make a note about this. Harem to Chris. Alright. Oh! Plane? Why are you always sagging to the to the left, man? I don't think there's any DME equipment in this plane. Oh, look at that short field approach. That's interesting. Adjusted weight to 26,000 pounds to 20. That's interesting. Gotcha. I, I might. I probably already have it for the A310. Because I have a bunch of his liveries for the 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 310. 
Might be a good idea. Having a monthly monthly subscription. Yeah, that could work. We're going to land at that that first airport that I have picked out at that ILM airport. I think that's still in Iran, so we're not going to make our way to Baghdad tonight, but we will one of these days. It is windy up here tonight. That is interesting. It's got the propellers right here. Throttle and the propellers. Oh, I know I ain't reaching Baghdad. Well, I, I thought I was going to be going 200 miles an hour. Yeah, I thought I was going to be going 200 knots in this airplane. So I figured when I figured a flight of 100 and, you know, 60 some 60 some miles, I thought that would have been safe, but I guess not. Come, Mr. Tallyman, tally me but not in the daylight. Come to room. Day. Misa Deo. They better not fuck that song up when they make that Beetlejuice uh, remake or whatever they're doing. Beetlejuice. They're making a new Beetlejuice movie. They better not mess that song up. I like that song. The Tally Me Banana song. Eight foot, seven foot. Let's go hump. Daylight come and we want to go. Oh, oh. <laughs> she might be. She might be all over that sixth dimensional horse. You might be right. You know, I wish there was a way to sink the, the uh, propellers. I think that would keep the airplane from, uh, like, sagging to the left so much. Like, a lot of these double-engine propeller planes, they have a way of sinking the... Uh, I don't know, maybe it, it might be in the... The manual, I'll have to read it. I'll have to read it one day when I'm sitting on the can. All right, there's our airport there, 27 kilometers away. And it's uh, 4,400 feet is the elevation for the runway. So we have a, we'll do a little circle job after we pass the, uh, pass the mountains here. I'm sure you, I'm pretty sure you can drop the uh, the caboose in the back while you're flying it since it like drops troopers and shit out. Maybe I can uh, do this without crashing. guys we got one job to do today that's to survive 
Get out there, boys! Jump! Jump! Dive! 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 Actually, still sounds like it's opening. At least that's what it sounds like in the headphones. It sounds like it's still open. There we go. Finally, it's finally stopped. I finally hear the hydraulic stop. Actually, the more I'm flying this plane, the, the more I'm getting used to the controls. Actually, now it's it's flying pretty nicely. Yeah, that's right. We gotta unload the zombies. Yeah, right now it's handling pretty pretty good. Now now that uh, I'm kind of getting used to the controls, I kind of I'm kind of enjoying flying this plane now. I'm still not sure why we're not going as fast as we're supposed to go. That's the that's the second plane in a row that uh, I have like everything maxed out and it didn't reach the uh, the speed that that was listed. All right, let's close you up. And let's plug in the ILS. That's 109.1 Getting to that uh that middle switch to do the two digits after the decimal that's difficult to get to man even with the mouse it's a uh, difficult to get to that button left foot eight foot right foot hump all right we're still hovering around zero so we'll keep the anti-ice on. All right, gear down. All right, cargo ramp closed, gear hydraulics, props, full increase, live mic on, flaps, trims, auto feather, not operable. All right. Oh, I need to set the course. It's 318. All right, here we go. Wow, look at this city. I never knew it was such a... I mean, I see it on the map. It looks kind of big, but I had no idea, man. That's pretty cool. Yo, they got a... I know it's soccer, but they got a football stadium there. And they got a whole bunch of weed. Look at that, Frank. They got a whole bunch of weed growing right there. A whole bunch of opium. Opium for the people. I think that's a Slipknot song. Opium for the people. Let's go circle around and check that shit out. I'm sure Iran doesn't mind us, you know, an army plane circling their city. 
I'm sure it's not the first time it's happened. Oh, there's Red Death. That's some Endo Crypto right there. <laughs> some Endo Crypto. Yeah, look, it looks like a big mountain of weed. With a golf ball on top of it. Over here. Lou pulled out of the surgery. He's in recovery right now, Gavin. Yeah, it's a good thing. Oh, they got another uh, soccer stadium. At least that's what it looks like, unless that's like horse races. Or dog races. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's like a track. Maybe that's for like a school. Maybe. I don't have anything to snack on. Yet, if that's what you're looking for. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, I don't. I haven't been to the store in days. There's the ice cream in there if you want it. You can make brownies. Yeah, man. It does look like a big pile of weed. Look at that. Those are some big trees, Frank. <laughs> Must get Afghan. It's a pretty cool little city. Out in the middle of the desert. This is in Iran. Flying an army army plane around, so I figured it'd be good to fly it over there. Well, it's actually very pretty, the the scenery in this part of the world. With the mountains and the desert and Hey man, let's check out this uh let's check out this stadium over here. Well, when I do the grease flight, I can. And I don't know what city you live in. Well, that is a pretty cool stadium. It's got like an old, old kind of look to it, man. Let me circle back around. Put in what city you live in. You know, I can always fly over it uh, before I am tonight. Give me a minute. Let me, uh, I just want to look at this stadium real quick again. I don't really care about landing the plane. Yeah, so that Red Dead game, they, they got it on sale for 20 bucks right now on Xbox, going back to Red Dead. So I think I'm going to get that, even though I, I've already beaten it like twice on the PlayStation. PlayStation 4. Wow, that is cool looking, man. It's got like the old style like look to it in the front. That is cool. Um, and uh, they also got Hogwarts Legacy, uh, which I I beat that on the PlayStation Four, but it was it, it wasn't great. It didn't run really that good on the PlayStation Four, but they got that on sale for for half. All right, let me type in your city and see where see where it is in Greece. All right, uh, do anything. All right, let's go towards Greece. Let me go Google your, 
Araxos Airport? Okay. That helps. Let me type that in. Arax. There we go. LGRX. Hey, you live on an island. That's cool. Alright, uh, world map. I'm gonna choose a different plane, I think. Well, that sure is taking his time quitting the game, jeez. So I think that plane is definitely worth ten dollars. I don't think it's worth more than ten. So if it's ever if it's ever if it's ever more expensive than like ten to twelve bucks, I wouldn't buy it, but that plane was okay for ten bucks. I wish it would have gone as fast as advertised. And uh Yeah, other than that, I mean other than that, I mean I liked I like starting it up. I liked all the buttons. Like, like it was a cool plane to interact with. I just wish it would have gone as fast as advertised. What the fuck is going on with the, sim the simulator? Just take your time. No rush. Take your time. There we go. There we go. Oh, download started. What download? Oh, is it downloading the... Uh... Oh, that's what it is. It's downloading that, that other plane. All right, world map. De Havilland. Uh, let's fly. We'll fly this plane. It doesn't get... Are you... Yeah. I hear you. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll use the, uh, the SR. I haven't used that. I, haven't, I don't really ever use that plane. Let's, uh, let's do that plane. And we'll do it in the uh, in the fanboy, the fanboy livery. All right, and we're doing Araxos. Is that LGRX? Araxos Air Force Base. Excellent. And let's put this in the morning here. Valentine's Day. And what, what city do you already said it was Patras? So let me see if I can find that on the map here. Oh, that's awesome. You have Sparta. Sparta is on your island. That is dope, dude. We are Sparta. Great movie. 300. Araxos Tower Wyo Mike Alpha Mike Mike Alpha at runway tree 6 left ready for departure straight out departure. All right, I'm actually going to turn off the uh ATC. Yeah, I see it. It's not too far. All right, let's go here and ATC. Let's turn all the ATC off. All right, nope, and nope, and oops, fuck. No, son of a bitch. Fuck. I got, let me go back in and fix all this. Fuck. 
Okay, off, off. Actually, maybe I don't need to fix anything. Auto trim, auto sauces to take off, turbulence, realistic. Okay, everything. That's fine. All right. All right, and from here, we're taking off, so we need to go to the east. No, not to the east. Yeah, we need to go to the east. Okay. So let's put on the pedo heat, strobe lights, pedo heat, and let's set the we'll set the altitude for like two thousand feet. Where's altitude knob? Or altitude knob? Where might there you are? We're hiding. You're a naughty little knob. All right, let's set it for 2,000, and let's set the heading for east. And let's bring the map out a little bit. There we go. All right, let's take off. All right, I got to take off flap set now. That's pretty cool, man. You're like right on the uh, right on the ocean. That's got to be really like a cool area to live in. The county where I live in in Maryland, we're everybody's pretty much on the water here uh, in this county. But um, that's pretty cool, man. You're like right on like we're just on the creek, you know, where I live. We're not like on a major ocean. We got the Xbox livery for the win. Fanboy livery is here to stay. That's pretty cool, man. So you're right kind of like before that that mountain right there it looks like from the map i'm looking at oh and i see the bridge on uh on the map i'm looking at too it connects uh that other island very cool we have a couple of bridges near my uh near my house they're uh, both draw bridges though so it's not like they're not very long bridges but they're actually really short but they are draw bridges nonetheless
Mercado Alisos. And it's a uh, Suka Laka, Suka Laka. Yeah, it's cool, man. All like little little villages, little towns. And it's like it's got like one big road that kind of goes the whole like like uh you know, layout of the uh, of the ocean there. <laughs> this is a really cool part of Greece. Wow. Yeah, that's got to be rough. No lights. What is that in the ocean there? What kind of experiments? What kind of experiments you got going on there in Greece where you just got like roads in the middle of the ocean? What's up with that, Frank? What's up with that, Greece? What's up with that, Frank? Unless they really, unless there's like a little strip of land that's out there, that's kind of wild. Hey, Petras. I don't really ever fly this plane. This plane's pretty, pretty nice. Handles really nicely. I used to like flying this plane in X in, in the on X plane. Well, they didn't have the turbo version; they just had the regular SR22. Here we go. Where's Where's Frank's Where's Frank's crib? Ah, uh, wave blocker. That makes sense. Here you are, my dude. Here's your city. Your beachfront property, in beautiful Greece. Let me see if I can. Let's see if we see that uh, that bridge, and then we'll swing back around. <laughs> Somebody say something about weed. Gotcha. We'll swing back around in a minute. Take a look. I want to see if this bridge is over here. I see where it should be.
Oh, there we go. It's coming into view. It just uh, the, the resolution it had to kind of resolve. Very cool. Let's hang a Yui and go check out your crib again. I like how they have like cars and shit like that like all over the ground like actually like driving on these roads I think that's adds a pretty cool level of realism to it <laughs> hey man that's uh, what Microsoft Bing says your bridge looks like maybe it's an old picture of your bridge But yeah, I think tomorrow we'll try to do the Dark Star, the Dark Star to Russia deal, since we talked about that first, and then we'll do the Greece trip on uh, Thursday. <laughs> yeah, look at all the look at all the trees on there, all them trees. Well, if you're playing on a Series X, maybe it renders differently for you because it's a more powerful, more powerful system. All right, everybody, wave hi to, wave hi to Greece. He's somewhere down there. They might have broken it, that's true. All right. <laughs> uh, can we do it tomorrow night, Frank? Is that okay? Can we do it before the Dark Star? Before the dark. Well, you know what? Fuck it. We'll do. We'll do Queens real quick. Hang on. We'll do Queens, New York, real quick. We will do it real quick. Give me a second. We will get moving to Queens momentarily.
I've never flown over it before, so I'm trying to find the best best way to get there. Alright, there's that airport. I guess I can just use LaGuardia. Alright. Okay, that'd be cool, Frank. Yeah, if we, I can, I can do it tomorrow before, uh, before the Dark Star stream, if that works. But I, I kind of want to find out what's going on with my cousin now that he's out of surgery. Hey, that's awesome, Brayden. Good job, man. Nice. Nice. That was probably a nice flight. Awesome. But we'll leave it there, guys. We'll leave it there tonight. I'll definitely be back tomorrow. We'll start off uh, trying to find a big cloud of smoke in Queens, uh, that, which would be uh, the, the smoke coming from Frank's house. And then uh, we will jump into Dark Star and uh, go fly from the US of A to uh, Mother Russia. We'll pick up Tucker Carlson and bring him home and applaud him for his bravery. <laughs> That's right. All right, well, I'm going to leave it here, guys. I will definitely be back tomorrow, and it'll be a, a regular, regular stream where it's closer to two hours, you know, than this one is now. But, um, yeah, man, we're going to do the Dark Star tomorrow so we can get to Russia in a timely, in a timely fashion. And uh, I will see y'all tomorrow. Again, thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe. Please click the like button. Please follow. And uh, I will see y'all, my friends, over the beautiful skies of Mother Earth tomorrow where we visit the clouds of smoke in Queens, New York. And we're going to reach Mach 10. Trying to fly about 1,000 feet over the ground at Mach 10. And... Uh, on our way to a, a 10 minute flight to Russia from the US of A. So that's about it. I will see y'all later. Have a good night. Have a good day. And uh, see you later. See ya.